New hair. New hair. Fluffy, fluffy. Fluffy hair. So it's clearly been a while since I've actually recorded some footage. The last video I uploaded was actually recorded in like June. So yeah. Hair. I was talking to Natalie recently and I mentioned apathy, which is kind of a common thing I think, at least in people my age in school or people out of school especially, because once you're out of school it's a bit much, feeling a bit lost, don't know what to do with yourself. So it's pretty easy to just say, oh whatever, I don't really care, to try and lessen the emotional impact of some of the scary things about trying to become independent and getting a job, living on your own. Obviously I'm not up to that stage yet, <laughs> still in university. It's kind of a lot to take in at once, you have the pressure of getting good grades in all of your classes, five classes a semester or more, with tutorials and tons of homework. The pressure of getting a part-time job so you can get a job experience. In my case, the pressure of practicing music at the same time as doing all my language studies, which is going to be an interesting balancing act, but I hope I can do it. <laughs> the thing is, as easy as it is to fall into the apathetic kind of world view, it's not very interesting to just put on this mask and say you don't care about anything that's going on. Well, if you're not invested in what's happening in your life, it's pretty boring. Apathy is boring. So I've decided to try and keep that in mind as a kind of mantra to keep me going throughout the day. Instead of just blazing through my classes and the anticipation of getting home finally, I just want to take advantage of what's there. You know, enjoy classes, going to school, people say this all the time, but it's really hard to internalize. I mean, you go to school for so long, you start to take it for granted. And even when you're paying for it, it's hard to think about the fact that you're wasting all of that money and all of that time by just doing the basics. I'll just skim through the readings quickly, get enough information to pass the tests. The ironic thing is that, especially in my major, just doing the basics and learning enough to pass the test doesn't really cut it. I'm majoring in languages. When I come out of university, if I just come out with a degree that says I can do languages and then I go into the whatever job I end up doing and they're like, hey, can you translate the Spanish thing? And I'm like, no, I didn't really study a lot of vocab, so I don't really know these things. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> so it's pretty important, especially for me, to actually take advantage of what's there and learn the languages. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.